Hey everybody, it's Loretta. Let me see if I can fix, oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Hey, I am, I'm so excited to share with you one of my um, favorite things, and that is my passion, and that is to give people more freedom. Of course, our best way to get more freedom with Tupperware is to, by joining the team. Um, but tonight I'm gonna share one of my uh, absolute favorites and your superhero in your pantry, and that's Tupperware's modular mate system. So I'm going to, well, by the way, my name's Loretta Desenzo Tiber, and I'm a two-star elite director with Champion Enterprises, and I'm going to take you over to my pantry. I'm going to try to do this slowly, okay, and I'm walking backwards, so hold on. Hopefully, you won't get dizzy. <laughs> All right, so here is my pantry, okay, and i got to share with you guys. Oh my goodness, I'm a little too close to that camera. I've been with Tupperware for uh, 25 years now. Let's see, can you see my pantry? <laughs> All right. Uh, I would, I've been with Tupperware for 25 years and um, I just redid. I just redid my pantry because I wanted to get ready for you guys and it needed an overhaul anyway, okay? Relabeled everything and you can see how many colors I have here because I've been in it so very long, okay? So hi, Monica. Hi, Amy. Hi, Brandy. All right. So if you haven't done this yet, I highly, highly recommend that you take the time and modular mate your own pantry because selling this product is going to start with you and your experience and your passion, how this makes you feel, okay? Can you tell how much I, I feel awesome right now? Even my son came home and goes, Mom, you redid the pantry. It looks awesome. I'm like, oh, okay. He's 20, okay? Um, so anyway, so this is how organized. And I want you to know I've saved space. I have saved a ton of space. I feel like I have so much more room, okay? So now I'm going to take you back and I actually do my demo. So hold on with me, guys. Hello, Barbara Fisher and Linda. Hi, guys. <laughs> All right, so let me set this up. Oh, sorry, guys. All right, so I'm going to share tonight how you can go virtual with a modular made demo. Now, Prior to all the craziness and all that, I did a lot of in-home um, demonstrations, and obviously, I can't bring a whole pantry system to somebody's home, okay? So you've got to set up your display. So, and if you don't want to do it in your pantry or in your own kitchen, uh, you still want to set up your display, okay? So I bought a cute little crate, and it's easy for me to grab my modulates really quickly, and uh, you can get these in any of the craft stores, okay? It was like $9.99, okay? Um, put my module mates in there and label them and everything. The other part of my display is all of this. Now, you know what? Let me back up for a second. First of all, it's been a crazy year, okay? It's been very, very crazy, very chaotic, very unknown, a very different time in our lives, okay? And we can't control a lot of that. We can't control the school schedules, the activities being canceled or on or not on, uh, working from home or not working from home. I mean, all of that is a little bit out of our control, okay? But what you can control is your happy place. And we are in our kitchen probably 80, maybe even 90% of the time, especially today, because we're cooking more at home, okay? And eating more at home. And it's like the social hub of the home. So make it your happy place. And being organized is going to give you that feeling, okay? There are so many benefits from being organized. Let me just give you a couple. And module mates can help you with that in your kitchen, okay? It'll help you accomplish more, okay? Because you won't be wasting time looking for something, okay? Looking for the chocolate chips or where is the baking powder? Where is the baking soda? Where is the stuff, okay? And you're going crazy, all right? You're going to be more relaxed because you're gonna know where it's at, okay? Clutter is actually bad for you mentally and physically, okay? Physically, because if there's a lot of clutter, there's a lot of dust, and, and if you have asthma or allergies, that just kicks it up, okay? So it keeps it nice and clean. You're gonna feel good about your space. I don't know if you can tell, but I feel really, really good about my space, and so will you. And a lot of people think, I don't have room for modulates. I'm gonna tell you what, Module mates are going to save 30% shelf space in your pantry. You're not going to believe it until you do it, okay? So you got to try it. Now, the other thing it does for you is it gives you more time. More time for you and your loved ones, okay? Because um, you're not going to be frantic and I'm doing that. It's going to improve your health, okay? You can have more time for exercise and you can stop up your pantry with good, wholesome food that you are going to be preparing and making and have, okay? 
it is going to save you money. You all know that, all right? Being organized is going to save you money because you're not going to have duplicates of things. This is not from Tupperware, okay? This is just a, a thing I found about being organized. It says you won't be spending money on duplicate items, okay? And we'll talk about that in my demo. All right, you're going to be setting a good example. How many of you guys have kids, right? Let's set them up for future success, being organized with their school, um, being organized in their sports and where things are, being organized in their room. <laughs> Make you happy too, right? <laughs> anyway, so it's just good, good, good all around to be organized. So when I start my demos, of course, we're going to start with our display. Make sure you have a nice, neat display. And yes, we have two colors, but I like to use one color when I'm doing my, my demonstrations to create that even more um, organization feeling. Organiz is that sound right? <laughs> okay. The other thing is, I'm going to create the visual of what I don't want, okay? And this it might be a little bit of what somebody's pantry might really look like, all right? So when I'm doing this, I want to create the, I want them to go into their space, all right? And oh yeah, I've got that going on in my house. I've got open boxes of crackers. I've got, you know, chips and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to put a chip clip on it. And it's just piled high and things are underneath each other and whatever. And I can't get to what I need and everything's just falling all over the place, all right? Now let me ask you this. What gives you a better feeling? This in your pantry? Or this in your pantry? I don't know about you, but this one gives me the better feeling. Okay, all right, if you just joined us, you want to go watch the beginning of this because I actually gave you a screen. I went into my pantry and showed you how it made me happy, all right? So, I'm going to take all my, my, my husband's like, why is there trash hanging in our, in our pantry? I'm like, don't throw that away. I need that for my demo. All right, so let me go grab the other part of my demo because usually I have this out, but I wanted to show you my pantry, all right? I'm going to grab one of every size. All right, so I'm going to use super oval tonight, okay, so I can do my demo for you guys. All right, here we go. Now, when I start my demonstrations, I like to ask people, if you're doing a Zoom, this is even better because it's more interactive, you're, you're in the home, again, um, it's interactive, and if you're just on Facebook Live, make it interactive, okay, so ask the questions and anyway, just answer them, okay. So I want to know, uh, watching, who's watching this party? Hello, Joan, I see you. Um, well, I see your name anyway. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah, so we're going to start my party, right? First thing is, who are the organized people out there? Organized people, everything has to be in their place, all right? Who are the organized wannabes? I really wish I was organized, right? Who is that? Mm, okay, all right, I always want to be organized, not always. Okay, well, Tupperware's Majorme system? It's gonna work for both of you guys. If you're the organized person, absolutely, you're gonna love Modromates. If you're the unorganized person, it's gonna get you organized in your pantry, okay? And in your kitchen, and gonna give you that happy feeling in your kitchen. All right, so there's, there's several, well, there's different shapes, okay? We've got ovals, we have the regular oval, and we have super ovals, okay, they're a little bit longer. We have squares, check this out, all right? And we have rectangles. Now, I kind of call these Legos, I used to say Lego, Legos for ladies, but hey, guys can use this too, right? More and more men are in the kitchen, more than ever, okay? So, Legos for the kitchen, all right? It's our happy place, why not play? <laughs> so, let me show you this, how they can be like Legos. You can take a rectangle, and I can take a square, and I can take an oval, and I can put them on top of each other, okay? I can take um, uh, two ovals and put them on top of the squares, all right? I can take two super ovals and put them on top of my rectangle. I can build them really, really high, <laughs> or I can keep them really, really low. It totally depends on you and your kitchen. And that's the beauty of the system. It works for everybody's kitchen. It doesn't matter if you live in a college dorm, and trust me, you're going to need module mates in your college dorm. Um, uh, maybe you have an RV or if you're a camper, definitely want module mates in your camper or RV. It doesn't matter if you live alone or if you have a family of eight. I heard someone had a family of eight earlier today. I think it was Emily. <laughs> all right. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because module mates will work in all those different spaces because you can use the smaller ones and you can make them lower or you can use our larger ones if, you have, if you're blessed with a walk-in pantry like I am. Okay. All right. So... They're going to work for everybody's kitchen, okay? And by the way, our rectangles and our super ovals were meant to fit in a standard American pantry. 
they will fit the entire duct and that way things aren't lost behind it and you don't have a lot of wasted space in front of it. So they're perfect for the standard American pantry, okay? Now, every shape, I don't care if it's a square, an oval, rectangle, okay? Oval, there are five, five different heights, okay? You have a number five, you have a number four, you have a three, two, one. Ah, I can help me add words, <laughs> at least up from five. Now, what I can do to get this nice and organized is I can put the one and the four together, I can put a two and a three together, and look, voila, how beautiful, I'm all nice and organized, okay? So you're going to make this work for your pantry. You're going to see, what are the depths of my cabinets? How much room do I have between those shelves? And how high or how, how low can I go? I will share with you that I have found through experience that the height of a number four seems to be the standard height um, for those de the depths between the shelves, okay? And if you've looked at my pantry, that's where, I've, where I'm at. I'm at a four, okay? I have this five right here, and it didn't fit, and I don't know if you noticed it, but I just had it tilted this way, and now I could get my five in. And there's two reasons to do that. One, okay, uh, it'll fit. Two, if you have it on that shelf, and you, you probably can't see, this is that little shelf they put above the refrigerator, and it's really high up there for a short people, you can't, you can't get things out. It'll give you a little lip to pull things out, okay? But second is this, all right? See, they're see-through, so it's easy for you to see if you are running low on, on stuff. But if you want to, I don't know about your family, but if they can't see it, they won't bother to flip it over or to look inside. So if you're trying to hide some secret stash, I am just saying, okay, um, you flip it this way. Trust me, the Oreo cookies will stay there until you eat them because they are not going to flip the container. I promise you. <laughs> anyway, I just remember one day, my husband called me, or my, husband, my son, he's like, Mom, there's nothing here to eat. I'm like, what do you mean? Just Open the bowl because they were the bowls that you couldn't see through. I'm like, all right, <laughs> I got this. Anyway, where was I? Sidetrack, sorry, squirrel. <laughs> all right, let's go through these different module mates, okay? Uh, super oval number five. Your cereals, your grains, what I love about it is it's, it's nice grip. You have a nice grip here, but I don't have a handle that gets in the way, okay, and, and, and sticks out. So it's easy for me to pour oatmeal, cereals, grains, any of that, okay? We do have seals that will give you the pour seal if you want the pour seal, okay? But I still, I just take those seal off, okay? And inside of my oval five, super oval five, super oval five, I just have my tortillas, all right? So I love putting my tortillas down inside of there. I also like this one for paper. If you're doing your, your if you're doing demos and you're traveling and you don't want your um, catalogs and all that to get um, to get ear, you know, all earmarks and everything, you can, can just put them down inside of here and they won't get all crinkled. Okay. So love, love the super um, oval number five. And believe it or not, you can fit ten pounds of sugar. Yeah. So if you have a slender area, these are really nice for your sugar and your flour. Believe it or not. Okay. All right. Let's go to the super oval number four. Okay. Um, this one can hold crackers, cracker sleeves, and not, not just one or two, okay, but three, four, five, three, four, five, okay, six, if you're, yeah, I can get, I can get five across here, and one more on the top, that'll give me six, okay, my cracker sleeves, all right, and again, nice and slender, so I don't know about you, oh, here's my cracker box, all right, you got, you know what, you don't have four crackers and wait till the last one's gone to buy the next box, right, you're going to have that box of one or two cracker sleeves left plus another box okay so you want two of these boxes in your pantry or this beautiful container all right oh let me tell you something else about this it's paper see paper and you know what's attracted to this cardboard and the glues and all that stuff in there bugs bugs they love cardboard and you can ask my husband i'm always saying get that cardboard out of my house all right um and so i'm going to share a little story with you and you can't see, but I have a garage that's attached to the house, all right? And in the far corner, there was a bag of sunflower seeds for the birds, okay? And I was noticing um, one day that there were uh, moths in my pantry, okay? Now, I have everything in module mates, thankfully, in module mates. So this moth, okay, had to come out of the bag, get through my garage, two-car garage, go around and get through the door into my mudroom, get into the mudroom and turn left, all right? go through the mudroom door, and then it had to go through the mudroom, and then it had to go through my kitchen uh, doorway, and then it had to turn again and go left into my pantry, all right? So th there was a lot of movement going on here. So I'm noticing these moths, and you can't, you don't kill a moth, you just, oh, they're gross, right? You just smear them, they're just, they're, they're dust. 
They're paper. This is what they eat, okay? Stuff like that. Anyway, I was so thankful that I did not have to replace my flour, my sugar, my pastas, my baking, um, my chips, all of that. Because it would have cost me thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. If you have a bug infestation, you're going to have to get rid of it all. They will find their way into every single product that you can, you have, okay? Now, I had a girlfriend who said, nah, I don't need this stuff. But she goes home and she um, she opened up a box of Raisin Bran. And guess, a brand new box of Raisin Bran. And what flew out was a moth, okay? It's part of nature. It doesn't matter where you live, how you shop, whatever, how clean you are. It's part of nature and they're going to be there. So get them out of that cardboard box and put them in your module base because bugs, they don't like it. They can't get in it and they can't get out of it. <laughs> All right. Where was I? Okay, so that's your album number four. Super album number three. Love, love, love this one again. All right, so I buy uh, bulk oats and, uh, you know, I shop at Costco. Five or six pounds of oats, so, you know, 12 pounds of, 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 of rice and all that kind of stuff. So for my big bulk stuff, I've got my, my bigger rectangle containers. But for my everyday stuff, I want to be picking up that big container all the time. I put it in my, my Super Oval number three. All right. Now, if you're new and you're like, oh, I can't remember what, what goes in there or how much, little secret for you. See, as I'm holding it like this underneath, I have written other, what other things I can store in here. I could store graham crackers. You know those graham cracker sleeves? They fit perfectly down inside of here. Uh, crackers, pretzels, taco shells are great inside of here. All right? So you can put those little cheat sheets, just have a label maker, and just write down the bottom there. All right? Yeah, you like that one? Give me some hearts. <laughs> All right, here is super oval number two. And again, if you noticed my pantry earlier, you're gonna need a dozen of these. You will use this all the time. This is your go-to module mate. You want about 12 of this, okay? This is your module mate number two, okay? So when I say numbers, it doesn't mean how many. It means the height of the container. Remember that, guys, all right? So super oval number two, call it your two pound container, two pounds of sugar, two pounds of, of rice, um, um, what else? Two pinto beans, okay? All that kind of stuff. And again, I also, a little tip for you, I buy multiple measuring cups and spoons because I do not like going to my cabinet, finding the one cup, two cup, whatever I need, all right? And, or it's dirty, whatever. So I have multiple measuring cups and spoons and I will, because I, I know I always, the recipe always calls for a tablespoon, so I keep one of my tablespoons right inside of, you can tell how long I've been selling Tupperware, this is an old one, <laughs> uh, right inside of my cocoa, all right? So it got that going on. So oval number, super oval number two, just stock up on it, okay? It's gonna be one of your staples. All right, uh, oval, super oval number one. This is your little one pound box, all right? A pound of coffee, a pound of beans, a pound of sugar, a um, pound of lentils, perfect down inside of here, okay? Let's see, yep, baking soda, brown sugar, all right? Down inside of here perfectly. And again, I have my little cheat sheet on the bottom, so it's easy for me to remember. Okay? So that's my super ovals. And you guys can think of many, many more items that you could put down inside of here. And not just in your kitchen, but in your in your um, office, in the in the kids' rooms, in the garage, okay? All right, let's go on to the rectangles. Another one of my favorites. All right, let's start with this one right here. This is your oh, rectangle number uh, one, okay? The height of a number one. I got cookies in here. Now, I know, I know that if you have a family of one or two kids, it doesn't matter if you open up the Oreo cookie box, you probably don't have to store them because they're gonna be eaten as soon as you open it, okay? But I want you to know that this little pullback tab thingy right here is not a zip, it, it is, it's not gonna keep your cookies fresh, all right? There is gonna be air in there, and I want you to know that these cookies are over one year, yeah, over one year in this modern made container, and I can still smell. I wish you guys could smell. My Oreo cookies still smell like Oreo cookies. I haven't eaten one because because I don't eat that stuff, right? My, type, my son will eat it. I'll have him try it for you. <laughs> All right, so your cookies. I also like it for my brown sugar. So I like to take my brown sugar and just go like this. And look, when I do like that, it doesn't go all over the table. It stays inside of my modular mate, okay? So I love it for the, the, the brown sugar, too. That just slides easy. Oh, how about this? When I had to go pick up my kids from school, and especially my son, they get in the car, and they don't say, hi, Mom. They say, I'm hungry. I'm like, uh, really? <laughs> hi, how are you? How was your day? 
all right? Or they just trample things, okay? It doesn't matter what's out. They don't look at the floor. They just stomp all over things and break things, okay? So I'd like to bring them a snack, but if I brought the box, okay, they would just step, step on it and I just have crumbs everywhere. So wised up to that. And I would just bring a modular mate with me and everybody was happy, okay? It didn't get stepped on, didn't get broken, and they would say, hi mom, what do you got for me? Instead of, I'm hungry. I'm like, okay. It's a little tip for you guys. All right, uh, so, uh, rectangle number two. Okay, I told you how you're gonna love Super Oval number two. You're gonna love rectangle number two, okay? Because two of the Super Ovals will fit on there, and I have many, many uh, in my pantry. That is like my go-to set right here, all right? Two of my Super Ovals and my, my rectangle number two, all right? Because it makes that height of a form. And look what I wrote on there. Anything. It might be wiped off right here, okay? It's your anything box. Your rectangle number two. Five pounds of flour, seven pounds of sugar, um, six cracker sleeves again if you want to use this one for crackers, um, a small pair of shoes. No, just kidding. Well, maybe. <laughs> Barbie's uh, bedroom? No. Okay. Uh, anyway, you could do so, so much with the rectangle number two. I, when I was doing my in-home parties, this was my little anything gadget box, okay? So love this one, and you're going to need multiples of the rectangle number two because you can do so much with it. I also like it for packages of dry seasonings, all right? Um, I use it for packages of like um, hot cocoa mixes or any of my drip mixes, salad dressing mixes. Any of those mixes are perfect on the side here too. And if you still do recipes, handmade, maybe you have your grandma's recipes on the handwritten and you just can't part with them, this is a great box to keep them in, okay? So this is your anything box. My lasagna noodles, my pastas, all of that inside of the Super Oval. Number two. All right. So, oh, Super Oval number three. Again, more pasta. I'm Italian, what can I say? I actually have three module mates over there filled with, actually four, <laughs> with pasta noodles, all different types, okay? All right, so let me get to this one. This is your... Biggest module mate, it is your rectangle number four, okay? 10 pounds of flour. If you're a baker, the, this is a must have right here. 10 pounds of flour. I just put in 12 pounds. I bought the big giant bag from um, Costco. It was a 12 pound bag of rice down inside of here, and I still had room for more, okay? So this is for your big, bulky stuff. And this is why I said, I don't care if you live alone or if you have a family of 10, okay? You can use module mates because your product is going to stay fresh. Now, if you're doing demonstrations and you're taking them to someone's home and you're going to do it, uh, maybe uh, right now I would be scheduling private one-on-one -on -one organization, pantry organization parties, okay? Just you, me, and your pantry. No one else has to be there, okay? And so you're going to want to bring every piece of module mate, every size, every shape to their home, all right? And you're going to, and you're going to make it work for their pantry, okay? So it's a pantry organization party, just you, me, and your pantry, okay? Now, when you're doing that, bring all the size and shapes, and I like to fill them because I like to give them visuals, but I recommend that you do not fill this with 10 pounds of flour, five pounds of sugar, and all that, because you're going to become a heavyweight champion. <laughs> Unless you want to do that, you can, it's up to you. So instead, I fill this up with fluffy, really lightweight popcorn, okay? The other thing I use this for, I call it the Edo box. The Doritos, Fritos, Tostitos, all those Edos, all right? Perfect down the side of here, because you know how big and bulky that those tortillas are, okay? I just got this giant bag of, um, oh, I don't know, I don't know where it put back. The, the big giant bag of, of, um, of chips inside of here, okay? So love, love, love that for this, okay? So keep it light when you're bringing these and you're transporting these and you're doing in-home demonstrations with these, okay? Just a little tip. Oh, also, don't do colorful things like, um, what are those called? Cheetos. You know why? <laughs> it's going to turn it like orangey and it's going to look dirty, all right? So white fluffy popcorn. Don't get popcorn that has uh, seasonings on it or anything like that. Plain old popcorn. The Skinny Pop is perfect for that, okay? So love, love, love. Create that clean, beautiful, organized look for your, for your customers, okay? Now, I'm going to take you to this one. All right, this is my marshmallow <laughs> container. Now, these marshmallows are over a year old. 
I don't know about you, but there was a 4th of July. I had my nieces and nephews coming over, and we got to do s'mores, right? And I go to the grocery store. Guess what? There are no marshmallows to be found. I go, you've got to be kidding me. I served time now, and I said, never again, all right? So I will buy myself two packages of marshmallows because one's going to go in here because over one year, and my modulates, I mean, sorry, my marshmallows are still, can you see? They're still squishy, squishy. Actually, this is probably over a year and a half now, because last, not this summer, but the summer before, okay? That's how fresh and airtight your modulates are going to be, okay? They're airtight, going to keep your, your um, food fresh, so you're going to save a ton of money, because you can buy in bulk. They're clear so you can see what's in them. Oh, I'll get to that in a minute. Hold on. All right. Here's another one I want to show you. This is my brown sugar. This is a uh, oval, regular oval number three. Okay. This has my brown sugar in it. Now, I told you I've been in tough work for 25 years. This is going on 12, I can't keep track anymore, guys, 12 or 13 years of brown sugar. Now, I know there are tips and tricks. You could put a piece of bread in the air or whatever, but guys, I do not need to create moisture or any place that can create bacteria, okay? So there is nothing in here but brown sugar. And uh, at my parties, I will pass this around. Well, I used to until I dumped it on my hostess. So I don't do that anymore. <laughs> they pass it around at their own risk now. <laughs> but I want to show you guys, okay? There's my brown sugar. It is still moist. I don't want to spill it, okay? I live in Ohio, okay? And I don't know about where you live. But it gets really humid in the summertime, 90 degrees. When I'm traveling, this is in my car. It's in my car. Or it's in my basement where it's humid. Or it gets down to zero degrees and it's really, really cold, okay? So it goes through a lot of different climates, okay? But look at this. It is still moist and crumbly. I don't know if you can see it, okay? This is an older modular mate. Like I said, it's like 12 or 13 years old. And they used to be a little more um, cloudier looking. They made them a lot more sheer so you can see through them better, okay? Check it out. I actually had to use this about a year ago because I ran out of brown sugar. I'm like, oh, I have some. And it was fine. No one knew. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> so anyway, um, I think I skipped a step. So when I actually open this up and I ask you if you want to be organized, organized, I also want to visual, have them visualize their pantries. All right. You can go to Tupperware into the, um, into my sales, uh, Salesforce website, go into product info, go into organization, and you can find these modular make kitchen charts. Okay. Um, and my printer didn't work very well. All my stuff, I had a bad, bad, um, water leak in my basement, guess what? Thankfully, I had a lot of stuff, like my paperwork in module mates, my games and all that kind of stuff, but a lot of stuff I didn't, and that stuff got ruined. But anyway, so thank you again, module mates. But anyway, the custom kitchen charts right here, love them because when I'm doing a Zoom party or I'm with people, I kind of have them check this off. You can actually print these out and have, hand it to them. Um, and I'll say, uh, how many guys have bacon bits in your pantry? Beans, um, flour, Sugar, kind of go down the list here. How many of you guys have um, chips, um, chocolate chips, baking soda, brown sugar, cornstarch, uh, flour, graham crackers, milk, uh, dry milk, nuts, oats, um, raisins, all that kind of stuff, all right? Yes, 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 check, check, check. And then across is every, you can't see it on the screen here, but across is every module mate, the height, and it'll tell you how many pounds or ounces will fit in that container. And then you can take a few of those ideas and like I showed you earlier, just put them on the oh, no, 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 didn't have it. <laughs> just put them on the bottom. So when you're doing your demos, you can look like you really know what you're doing. <laughs> Alright, so love it for that. And again, it's gonna create that experience for them. The other thing I do is I ask some questions. How many of you guys have two or three? Two or three bags of brown sugar in the corner with a with a twisty tie on it. Be honest, alright? And um, if that's you, let me tell you, module mates are going to solve that problem, okay? No, that twisty tie doesn't keep anything fresh, okay? Uh, how many of you, uh, you have, uh, and then you got to get the hammer and chisel out too because that brown sugar is hard as a rock. <laughs> how many of you guys have found creepy, crawly things <laughs> in, your, in your stuff, all right? It's in there. Did you know that over 50% of the time, flour has, is it weevils or weevils? I, I, weevils, I don't know what it is, but over 50% of the time. And what I tell my customers is, go ahead, put your flour down the side of this. Actually, the square number three holds five pounds of flour. Put your flour down the side of here. Actually, you know what? 
Rectangle number two, five pounds of flour, okay? And you're gonna put the seal on it and then you're putting your pantry and you're gonna wait a couple days. If there are bugs here, they are going to slowly rise to the top and you can open it up and look inside and see if they're, if they're there. Now you can scrape them off, but maybe Aunt Jane didn't make it to the top yet. You might just wanna take it back to the grocery store. They'd be happy to replace your flour for you, I think, <laughs> okay? All right, now I know some people put it in the freezer, put their flour in the freezer, but honestly, all you did was freeze them. Now, if you want that extra protein, go right ahead. <laughs> Where was that? Oh, the other thing about, about flour in the rack number two is if you're this person, right? You get your measuring cup in there and you go like this. If you do that over the bag or over the square, you kind of like make a mess and it goes all over your tabletop. I like to use this here because then I can, uh, it falls right back into the container and the less cleanup time for me. And guys, when you're measuring flour for your baking, a tip is, this is uh, one of those things that people don't do correctly and they end up having too much flour in their, in their cookies and dough. Uh, you take a cup and you go like this and you put some more in there and then you have this heaping thing. You really should just scoop it up and level it off and it'll be the perfect amount of flour. Okay? All right, so. Where was I? Yeah. Oh, have you ever, ever, <laughs> has this ever happened to you? You're like, hey, girlfriend, go grab me the box of stuff in that pantry over there. And you're like, wait a minute, let me go get it. Because if she opens up your cabinet, something's going to hit her in the head. Hmm, right? <laughs> now, it doesn't happen to you guys because you're all in, in, uh, in Tupperware, okay? How about this one? You go to grab the cereal. You're thinking, hmm, I'm going to have me some yummy cereal. Guess what? You put it away empty. Actually, not empty. There's like one little Cheerio, or there's one cracker, or there's one whatever in there. I'm like, seriously? You couldn't eat the last one and just throw the box away? No, 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 no. Or, you know, you go to pick it up and you hit yourself because it's nothing's in there. Again, look at this. Clear. All right. So you can see if they have left you anything or not. Okay? None of that happening anymore in your home. <laughs> anyway. When you have matcha mates, all of that will be soft. No more duplicate items in your pantry saving you money. No more hard brown sugar saving you money again because you're not buying it again and again, okay? No more stale crackers and chips because they're airtight and sealed in the matcha mate. Oh, forgot this one. This is my favorite, okay? How many of you guys have kids and you call them? And you call them and you call them. You've been calling them for about an hour. No response, right? But you do this, right? You go grab a chip or popcorn, and they come running down the stairs. They're like, Mom, what are you eating? I'm like, seriously? I have been calling you for an hour, <laughs> okay? So if you want to sneak a little appetizer before dinner, because, hey, we're allowed, right? We're working hard. Look at this. Can you, oh, gosh, you can't hear me. Ah, and I can sneak that little pre-dinner snack. <laughs> anyway, I just had to throw that in there. Anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this. I can tell you, I could go on and on and on. But truly, you will save space, you will save money, you will save time, you'll be organized, you're gonna feel good, you're gonna create that happy place, and you're gonna need that more than ever. And the three biggest, you know, uh, New Year's resolutions, as soon as Christmas time is done here and all that, people are gonna, gonna wanna what? Lose weight, eat healthier, what? They're gonna, gonna what? Wanna get organized. They're gonna wanna save money. Guess what? Modern mates do that for them. <laughs> And something tells me that you're really going to want to do this ASAP. So, uh, guys, you guys have the best trainers. Go find trainers um, and, and watch their module make demos. I took all kinds. I listened to all the best trainers in, in Tupperware. Joe Ramon is your one of them. Uh, Michelle Davis, Judy Doherty is where I learned a lot of this. Okay, so add your own style to it. Do your own thing. But get organized. Clear your mind. Clear your kitchen. Be happy and create that happy place for you and have an amazing 2021. Yay! <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks again. If you have questions, let me know. I'll try to go through the feed, but I saw a lot of movement going on here. So thank you, Tanya. Hi, Teresa. Yes, yes. Get your module mates ASAP. Create the experience, guys, because that's what's going to sell module mates, your total passion and sharing. Um, a couple tips if you're going to go virtual with this. Take pictures. Take before and after pictures of your pan of your pantry, okay? Um, go live. Share. Create a buzz. Do a five-week campaign, and every day, every day, you share uh, why a uh, benefit of being organized is and how a module may um, work for you and your family, all right? So create those buzzes. Create those virtuals, and go live. 
if you don't like going live, you know what? You don't have to put the camera on you. You can stand back here and just do your voice. But honestly, they want to see you. They want to believe you. And that's going to show up in you. All right, guys. Have a great 20, end of 2020 and a strong start to 2021. Bye, guys.